the, the university took 10 months to grant me access and we did research on for, you know, 18 years or so. Did they say this? I just want to make sure I follow this part. Did they say, make this sacred remains claim about the animals as a result of you looking into it specifically? Or had they already said it before and now we're just like reinforcing their little bullshit law? Um, they had never claimed that they were sacred before. It just came there right after I asked for it. There you go. And then the other aspect was, so that was, you know, strike one. <laughs> sense, right? I think we're on like strike eight now, <laughs> according to these people. The, the other aspect was I asked for x-rays. Now, x I've done x-ray and CT scan studies since, two, since 1997. So this is one area of my research is looking at bones with x-rays and CT scans. And so... A large amount of x-rays had been taken from these skeletal remains, and um, they are housed in the curation facility. They're housed in that room. And so I asked for, for access to the x-rays, and um, lo and behold, the x-rays are now sacred. Um, now, x-rays cannot be sacred because they didn't have x-rays in the Around past. How many years? And so, they, <laughs> and so they could not have been used in their traditional ancient rituals. <sighs> but, uh, and Nick has, a, yeah, his line is that if I had asked for a pencil, it would have turned sacred. <laughs> you know, that it didn't matter what I asked for. The third thing that I asked for was a collection uh, from Carthage, Tunisia. And um, they actually did ask the tribe whether this collection was related to them, and the tribe said no. I think now, ha if they would ask them again, I have the feeling they probably would, realizing that they could get away with it, they probably would say yes, <laughs> you know? Um, but they, they took the... the the, the university took 10 months to grant me access to the Carthage collection, looking for a way to keep me away. You know, I finally did get access to it. Um, and, but the Carthage collection, although it's kind of interesting because it's like 6th to 7th century, Carthage, Tunisia, around the circus times of, you know, um, the Byzantine circus, it's a very poorly preserved collection. And the reason why it's poorly preserved is uh, twofold. One is that the soils um, are very sandy and that's not good for bone preservation because you get like the rains and then dry and the rains dry is very bad for bone preservation. But they were in um, coffins, but the coffins had been opened because they, the site had been looted historically by Muslims. And mm. so, um, so it's not a great, well-preserved collection. I was able to do a few, few studies on them, but, you know, that was pretty much it. Where was the collection housed? In San Jose. State. Okay, it was, yeah. it was, it was it, there. Because it was um, excavated by the uh, anthropologist who was there before me, um, Bob Germain, in the, in the uh, early 80s, I believe, like 81 mm. to 83 or so, I think. Um, and I mean, the other collection, the large skeletal collection that I curated and, and did research on for, you know, 18 years or so, the Ryan Mound, that prehistoric collection, it's beautifully preserved. It, you know, like it has over 300 individuals. It, the the uh, preservation is so, so beautiful that even like finger bones are preserved and toe bones. I mean, it's just a beautiful mm. collection. And it's a real shame that it's not going to be able to uh, help us reconstruct the past or understand humans anymore because now it's off limits to everybody.